All right, so we are going to divide some fractions, and we're going to start with some very, very basic fractions. But before we even start with the problems that are on the board, let's have a little reminder on how to divide fractions. So let's say I have 1 half divided by 1 fourth. So how do I go about dividing this simple fraction? All right, Sean? Well, you take your second number, which is 1 fourth, and you would change that to 4 over 1, and then okay. multiply them. So it's going to be 4 over 1. So we take the reciprocal and you multiply. The first term stays the same. Now before we go ahead and divide this out, what would be a prudent thing to do? Simplify. We should simplify it. And you're always going to want to simplify it first, especially when we start dealing with polynomial fractions. So how can I simplify this? Brittany? You can cross reduce. OK. And you divide by 2. OK, 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 4 twice. So now what do I do? Multiply the numerators. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. And 2 over 1 is 2. OK. So there's our quick little review on how to divide <coughs> fractions. And now we're going to apply that this same logic to variable expressions. All right. So in question 1, what is the first thing we're going to have to do? Colin? Flip over the A and B. So we have B over A. When you take the reciprocal of the second term, what else do you need to do? Joe? Um, wait. Reduce. We're, not, we're not ready to reduce yet. We're not ready to reduce yet. Trevor? We're, we're going to have to multiply. Does anything happen to that first term? No. No. So we have a, b over 4. And now what do we need to do? I, I hear people muttering cross-reduce. Do we need to, to cross-reduce? Yeah. yeah. OK. So uh, do I have any terms that are similar that we can reduce across the uh, problem? Nolan? a, b, and a. What, what do both of these terms share? a. a. a divided by a is 1. A divided by A is 1. And so now we are going to multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, and we'll be done. B times B is? B squared. 4 times 1 is? 4. And that's it. So not too bad, really. Yes? Can you simplify that more so it's squared? Uh, we cannot simplify this anymore because B squared cannot be factored. I mean, you're not going to write B times B. And it does not share a factor with 4. But we are going to have to do some factoring in these problems. So, so you're right to think about that. All right, let's take a look at number 2. We have 16 divided by 2 over a squared. Any guesses what the first thing we're going to have to do on this one is? Olivia? Yeah, we have to deal with the exponent. OK. So what is 2 squared? 4. 4, all right. What is a squared? a squared? All right, that was easy enough. And so everything else remains the same. Any guesses what we'll have to do next? Trevor? Tra sorry, I meant Trevor B. All right, excellent. 16 over 1. Okay. Brandon? Uh, you flip the 4 over a squared. Okay, so we're going to flip the 4 over a squared. So we have a squared over 4. When you take the reciprocal of the second term, what else do you need to do? Change it to multiplication. All right. Any guesses on what we do next? The process does not change. Betsy? Cross reduce. All right. What what uh, shares a factor here? Sixteen and four. Four goes into sixteen four times. Four goes into four once. So now we just multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. Four times a squared is. Excuse the interruption. 
teachers and students, you are not you excused. Have inside day for lunch recess today because the temperatures are supposed to be below 20 degrees. We will have inside recess at lunch recess today. Okay, we, we get the picture. We have our uh, fire safety um, assembly. Moving on. We'll be in the cafeteria. Yay! Fire oh, safety. Fire safety. Don't play with matches. Stop, stop, drop, and roll. There you go. Okay. I can't roll. I can't roll. And, and the one student who has a broken collarbone will have to just burn to death. All right. So we have 4a squared over 1. 4a squared over 1. Is that the simplest form we can have? No, what can, what, how should we write the answer? What would be the best answer possible for this problem? Joe? It's just 4a squared. And there you have it. Other questions so far? OK. So let's take a look at question three, which is going to be more complicated. Before we do anything else, you notice that you have some polynomial expressions. You have a polynomial in the first fraction in the numerator. You have a polynomial in the second fraction also in the numerator. Can either of those polynomials be factored? Yeah. Yeah. We, we see some people shaking their heads. I see, saw one person mouth the word no. Uh, yes, sir? Which, which one? 4n minus 2 can be factored. So what does that factor to? Uh, 2 times the power root n minus 2. 2 times the quantity n minus 1. So you have to factor that first term, yes. Sorry, it's 2n. Ah, thank you. So 2 goes into 4n twice. That's why the 2n. And 2 goes into 2 once. And then we still have the 8n here. We still have division, and we have 2n minus 1 over 24. All right. So that was the only new step that we have to deal with. What do we have to do now? Go back to the same steps we had before. Nothing changes. Okay. All right. You change 20, um, 2n minus 1 over 24. Okay, so we're going to have to take the reciprocal here. So I'm going to move this up so that we have a little more room. Actually, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this. Okay. So we'll take the reciprocal. So now we have 24. <coughs> over 2n minus 1. What happens to the division? It becomes multiplication. And so we have 2 times 2n minus 1 over 8n. So what's our next step? Oh, what's the case? Oh. Um, multiply? Or, sorry, Cross multiply. Reduce. Cross, reduce. Cross reduce. Do we have any similar yes, do. terms? Do we have any similar factors that we can cancel out here? All right. Uh, uh, Sean. Uh, 2n minus 1. 2n minus 1 goes into both of them. 2n minus 1 divided by 2n minus 1 is? 0. 1. 1. <laughs> Do we have anything else that can be reduced? Anything else that can be reduced? Olivia? 8. 8. 8 goes into 24 how many times? 3. Goes in once. So? 2 times 3 is? 6. 1n times 1 is? N. 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 And there you have it. Yes? I got the same answer, but I didn't uh, factor the 2. No, so factor 4n minus 2. I'll take a look at that individually, okay? 